Now for the longest time, my normal way of shooting flash at an event has always been flash in hand, camera in the other hand, and th this. Like I would just literally, this gives me complete control over the flash. I can get any look I want. I can turn it up, I can turn it, whatever it is. Sometimes I would put a bounce card on here. And let me tell you something. Um, I know there's a ton of modifiers and everything else under the sun. Um, and you know, like the, the, just a little bounce card that comes with this is great, but I'll use this as an example. This is a piece of paper, but in the old days we used to put index cards with a rubber band on our flash <laughs> and it did such a great job. Um, so you don't need to spend a lot on these big modifiers or anything like that. Like this works fantastic. An index card works so good. Um, and then this is it. Like I have complete control on everything. But now that I'm shooting manual focus, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I'm going up. And yes, it still works. There's not an issue. Um, but I really wanted to do on-camera flash. And I've tried you know, the larger on-camera flash units, which I hate. You know, this is why I use the Kinect uh, for my remote, because I want something small on top of the camera. So after a ton of looking and using, um, I use the SF60 on top of this, which is a outrageously priced speed light that has a guide number of, or I'm sorry, it was the SF40 um, that has a guide number. You know, they say 40, it's probably more like 30. And then this. Now, this is a discontinued Fuji flash. Um, it's the Fuji S, I'm sorry, God, old age, EFX20. Okay. Um, and this on top of a flash, or on top of a camera, this is it. Uh, this is the whole thing. Now, yeah, you would think right off going, yeah, it's not going to work. Red eye, all that kind of stuff. I did a shoot with this. Um, yes, I got, believe it or not, maybe three images or four images that I had to correct red eye in, and the rest of them, nothing. Um, and the look that it gave, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating. I'm, I'm, that's the easiest way to put it. Now, yes, with a flash on top of the camera, you can turn it, you can point it in different directions, you can bounce it off a wall. Um, but I really wanted to explore this and the look I can get with it. So I literally just put this on and went to an event. Um, let me show you up close what it looks like. That's the whole unit. And this takes two AAA batteries. <laughs> so that was my other worry. I'm thinking, oh my God, how is this going to last uh, an entire event with two AAA batteries? Now, um, I shot the event at ISO 1600, uh, 250th, and I was at F4 um, the entire event. And what I did was I set up two zones, like, you know, one when they're a little closer because I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, but I was set at 164th um, and it gave me plenty of light. If they were further where I did a larger group, I popped it up to 132nd. And this is the only thing I had to change the entire night. If they were closer than I wanted, I'd put half a finger in front of the flash um, just to block it a little bit to take down the flash a little bit. I'd literally go like this or like this and I just block some of the white. And I'm going to go through some of the images uh, to show you how they look and, and how it did. Now, this flash being a discontinued flash and, and trying to find it on eBay was tough. Um, I got it a while ago and I got a decent price on it. But now these things are going 350, 400 again, um, even for used ones, uh, because it's just a spectacular little flash. Um, but anyway, so let me go through the, some of the photos and, and uh, give you an a inside look at, at what this thing did. Now, I did take some video at the event, and I apologize. You know how bad I am at video. This is even worse. Um, but it'll give you an idea what it looked like in there and, and 
the scenario that I was in. Um, anyway, enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, but I really wanted to share this because I know a lot of people, you know, like literally, I still use this method like this. Um, I love it. It's, I mean, I, I can go out and do a model shoot on location with this outside and it's fantastic. It just works, just boom. And I can turn it and give that 3D look. It's, um, if, you, if, if you never tried the handheld look, I know with some of the lenses it's hard with the cameras, you know, because the new, you know, the Canons and the, they're heavy and big. Um, but if, if you're using a smaller kit and, and you can do this, I really recommend you try it because, I mean, you take a sh shot and it's just a little over and boom, you just turn it just a little bit and it adjusts the light instantly. Um, so give that a try. And I always had great results with it. Um, but let me show you the results with this and, uh, and see what you think. Anyway, have a great day. And don't forget, try the index card and rubber band thing. <laughs> You're going to be really pleasantly surprised on the results you'll get. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day. So I so had to leave this part in. It reminded me of those old people that are using a webcam for the first time, you know, trying to talk with their kids. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It's ridiculous. That's what I felt like setting this up. It's the DJI action to that little cube thing that you put on a magnet on your shirt. Um, you know, I tried to use it without it being under the shirt. It just doesn't work. You have to put that thing under your shirt and it, it, use it that way. Anyway, I, I got it set up. I'm still not good with it. That's my setup, the flash on top of the camera. I do love this flash. It's all metal. Um, it's really well built and, uh, and it looks good on top of the camera. You know, it's very small, easy. It's not in the way. And, you know, the only th issue I had is I just didn't bring another flash. I just said, screw it, I'm using this, I'm going to try it. So that's the lighting. There was a couple of those ring lights set up in the, you know, the sides of the room. Didn't help much with the room itself. This would have been a great room for bounce flash because of the low white ceilings. But, you know, my point is, you know, can I use this flash on top of the camera right next to the lens without too much red eye issues and, you know, getting the look that I want from the photos? And, you know, I did. I, I do love the look of this flash. Um, and it was so easy. I set it 1 64th because I was shooting at 1600 ISO. And I would just go in between 1 64th and 1 32nd, um, you know, depending on the distance. So if I was shooting the people in the back there, I would throw it to 1 32nd. And if you're shooting up close to someone and you have a person in the foreground, you know, you could just literally put your finger over that part of the flash. If they're in the foreground to the left, you put it on the left of the flash and or to the right. And it just worked. Um, so, you know, that's basically it. I wanted to give you, oh, those cheeseburgers were amazing. And yes, I do eat their hors d'oeuvres while I'm shooting. It doesn't matter to me. Um, uh, I It's harder with the, you know, manual focus camera because you can't eat and have something in your hand and, you know, manual focus at the same time. But... Anyway, that's the interior. There is an exterior too that I'll show you. Um, the exterior was, it was dark as can be, but they did have a ring light out here and then they added more. Um, but a lot of the areas, it had no ring light. So the first thing I had to do was test the shooting with the ring lights to see what they would look like, um, what settings I'd have to be at, and then without um, to make sure I knew exactly where I was going to go, where the people were. So this is when I first got to the event. I wanted to try the flash really quick outside. It is kind of a deer in the headlights kind of look, but it doesn't look bad. Um, and then we went into the event and then they have one of these vinyl, you know, logo backgrounds shooting straight on one, one of these things. You're always going to get kickback. I don't know why they make them out of vinyl, but they do. Um, probably because they're cheaper. If you just angle yourself just a little bit in this situation, you'll get rid of the glare, at least most of it. And I could have cropped the other side out, but I wanted you to see the glare anyway. So the first shot of the night, um, it, it, these are just, like I said, they're just quick shots that I wanted to show you what it looked like. You know, this girl was in the foreground, so I put my finger on the left side of the flash to block her out just a little bit. And, and it comes out nice. And you could fix it in post a little bit too, but when they're really close, it's, it's tough. Another nice part about this flash, because it's so close to the lens, if they are wearing hats, it just works. You don't have to worry about like going down lower, having them tilt their head up. Now this is the exterior without the um, ring lights. It's just a straight shot, you know, 
uh, it worked, no issues. I did try bumping it up to ISO 3200, but I didn't need it. Um, and this is, you know, just another two people, boom, you can see how dark it is in the background. And then as the night went on, they added more ring lights. Now the ring lights were low, so a lot of these shots you'll see like a little bit uh, more light down below, you know, or up light, if you will, um, especially with this one. So that the flash was really, really necessary. And you'll notice there was glass in the back. You just position yourself where your flash is hidden by somebody's head and you'll be fine. Um, and the ring lights or strip lights, LEDs, you know, for all their selfies, because this was a uh, social media event for influencers. Um, they were all over the place for the selfies. And they actually did come in handy. But you can see, you know, at some of the photos, you know, they were more of a hindrance than a help. Um, but a lot of photos, they were a help. Now, this is back inside. This is one of those foreground things where no matter what I did, I couldn't, you know, stop that from overblowing the, the foreground subject. Now, dark skin, you do have to pump up your flash just a little bit at times, depending on the skin tone, um, but it works. It's easy. And remember, this is just one click on the flash either direction, especially with this kind of flash with those manual controls. You just turn the dial one stop either direction, and it works. Um, Again, low ring light, that flash was necessary to take that top girl and fill her in a little bit. Um, you can see it that, you know, her very top hand, it's a little darker, but, um, and this is, you know, a scenario where the ring light just came in handy, but I still needed the flash. I needed that extra kick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this.